This is a short video in reply to a question that somebody sent me the other day to do with scaling of cylinders as you can see in this Autodesk video that the cylinders are being scaled in various directions using non-proportional scaling so just to clarify what the problem probably is so in the in the video which has been done by Kerry Kingston so it's a very good video we can do a similar thing here so let's go and create a cylinder so one thing worth saying is that if you go into the cylinder function here this won't give you an accurate cylinder but that's another story so let's go into here and we're going to use alt to snap that to the grid and of course we can scale it using these boxes here so you've got red green and blue for x y and z so you can see this the x the axes of the the cylinder there so you can scale that in the z direction while we've got these active but if we are no longer active then we can also use non-proportional scale so let me take the grid off because that's a, a slightly confusing x y and z there but if i wanted to scale that with non-proportional scale there in the z direction which we know is up and down the cylinder we can do that using the right hand mouse button if I want to scale it in X and Y and make it a bit bigger then it's not quite so easy because I, I can scale it in the X Control Z to undo or the Y but not both at the same time not not using non-proportional scale if I go into the information window so window information which I've got on the hotkey I makes it much easier to find so you can see down here under transform information you've got the scaling here so I can actually go into here this would be another way of doing it so if I wanted to double the size of it in X and Y then I can do that in, in there I can change the length so that's the Z direction there I can also do if I go up into the prompt up here if I go into non-proportional scale and I go into this prompt and if I wanted specific sizes like 150, 150 300 I can also put it in there so I can say 150 space 150 space and then 300 and then that will scale that and you can see it's reflected in the information window alternatively I can do it relative so if I click on R in here or you can click on relative relative up there I'm just used to clicking on R and that takes you to the relative mode so if I want to double the size of it in X and Y for example I can either click in there or tab in there if it's not active but I can click or tab and say to two to so I'm scaling it by twice as much and making so you'd expect the radius here to be 300 or thereabouts and then in the Z direction will will also make that two so in every direction I'm going to scale it by two so you can do that sort of thing as well now I suspect that the problem that people have had is that they've not created the cylinder in that perspective or isometric view and so when you do it in this view the axes are correct they're z along and x and y in either direction now you can't see that unless you go into transform and if you look under this thing called local axes and say set local axes set that to interactive and then press go you can see these are the local axis system here so we're getting those correct we're getting x and y across that way and z up and down now let's go back to our grid and I'm going to look in the right in the left view there rather and I'm going to create a cylinder again so I suspect this is where the problem is happening if I go and pick cylinder again use alt to snap it to there and then I'm going to scale it so I'm picking one of the boxes scaling it around the using the center box just to scale it in all directions just so we can see it a bit clearer now you notice that it's got red green and blue here so in other words X Y and Z so we've got Y along the cylinder now when I come out of that if I say pick nothing and I'm no longer picking that we won't be able to use those boxes but at the moment I can use those boxes and scale it but if I've gone pick nothing so now I don't know which X axis this is going in if I try and scale it like I did this one so if I pick both of them at the same time for example and do non-proportional scale this will 
scale correctly if I want to make it longer using the right hand mouse button but the other one doesn't it doesn't do what you'd expect it to do and the reason is because the axes of this are different to the axes of this let's go into transform back into local axes on interactive there press go and you can see the axes are as it as it showed on the symbol before we've got X going that way but we've got Y along the cylinder not Z so if you want to do non-proportional scale on there you've got to scale it that way which of course isn't isn't great if you've got multiple cylinders to do and they've all been defined differently so that's the reason um, the other thing I did mention is the accuracy of this and you're better off the, the accuracy of this won't be great so if we look at the comb display there the and min max you can see those values are quite different and so cylinder isn't the best way of creating a cylinder ironically but that's a, another video